up, Booktube? My name is Elizabeth, and welcome to Book Babble. Today is Wednesday, and that means it is Top 5 Wednesday. It is also another video for Vlogmas. Um, I'm really excited for this one today. The topic is Top 5 Books That You Would Read Next to the Fire, so let's just get started. Number one on my list is My True Love Gave to Me by various authors. I read this last Christmas time, and it was so good. It just gave me the wintry, Christmassy feels. And I loved it. It has 12 different um, Christmas time, winter time stories, and I really, really enjoyed it. I don't know if I read it back home or if I read it, like, you know, because my mom has a fireplace back home, and I don't know if I read it by the fire or anything like that, but I remember really enjoying it, and I remember it put me exactly in the mood for Christmas because I think I read it like in November time and um, it put me in for the holidays and for Christmas and for winter. It takes a while for winter to come here in Florida but it eventually gets here like now I'm freezing. Um, but yeah I really enjoyed this highly recommended to read it by the fire. The next book I recommend to read by the fire is The Girl Who Circumnavigated Fairyland in A Ship of Her Own Making by Catherine M. Valente. I don't know why this book came to mind, maybe because it has a red cover and a dragon on it who breathes fire, um, but it just has that very fairy tale type young nostalgic feel to it. I mean the main character is like seven. Oh, she's 12. I'm sorry. I thought she was a lot younger than that. But still, she's very young, very, you know, just childish. And I feel like during Christmas when I go back home and I see my family, I feel like a kid again, you know. You have the Christmas tree and the fireplace going and um, a fairy tale type book like this really puts me in the mood for stuff like that. So I highly recommend this one as well. I loved this book and I think it's a great book to read by the fire. The next book that I would recommend to read by the fire is, of course, the Harry Potter series. One of them, any of them, all of them, they of course put you in that feel of nostalgia and Christmas because, you know, and winter and Hogsmeade and just the whole thing. Just Harry Potter is the perfect book to read during the winter time, and I think there's like two Harry Potter readathons going on this month. Usually, there's the Merry or Harry Christmas to You, and then someone else I saw is doing a um, Harry Potter readathon for the whole month of December. So it's just the perfect time to pick up Harry Potter if you haven't in a while. The next book that I would recommend is your favorite nostalgic book that's not Harry Potter. For me, that is Pendragon and the Merchant of Death by D.J. McHale. I never stop talking about this series because my favorite of all time. Um, but this it just puts me in the nostalgic little kid type feel. And I think nostalgia is such an important thing when it comes to Christmas and going home to your family and stuff. So reading a book that makes you feel nostalgic, um, you know, can really round out your holiday, I think. I always try to read at least one of the Pendragon books every year, and I might try to read this in the, in the end of December. I don't know yet. And last but not least, I think the perfect book to read this month in December by the fire is Winter by Marissa Meyer. If you have not read the Lunar Chronicles yet, Cinder, Scarlet, Cress will also suffice. You just need to read this book. And I mean, the fact that it's named Winter, Cold, Christmas, by the fire, it's perfect read it. This is actually being, I think I scared my dog, this is actually being um, pre-recorded at the end of November, so I might have or might not have read this already. I don't know. I'm sure I enjoyed it because I enjoyed Cinder, Scarlet, and Cress so much. I don't think Winter will disappoint. Chloe over the Brunette Bibliophile, who I read um, this with, and I do the Once Upon a Read Along, and this is our book for the month. Our live show is on January 6th, so read it with us and and watch the live show. Um, she has already finished it and absolutely loved it, so I'm pretty sure I'm going to love it too. Um, but yes, this is definitely a book that I recommend. If you haven't read yet, read it by the fire, read it this month. Just read it. All right, guys, that is my video for Top 5 Wednesday Books You Should Read by the Fire. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know which books you are reading by the fire this month, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.